Did y'all know there's a list for the most pirated TV shows and movies? Hell, I didn't know it. I just found out this week. We're going to discuss what was the most pirated TV shows in all of 2018 and what does that mean going forward in this video. What's good, YouTube? You're in the building with the all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. The sexiest hell host. And we're talking about what were the most pirated TV shows in the land in 2018. But before we do that, we always put on our plus seven glasses of the sexiest hell. Because we work on skilling up our craft, giving you a more informed YouTube experience, something better to look at. Please subscribe to this channel. Also, go subscribe to the Life Games Fitness and the Life Game Finance channel. Over there, I'm doing great things, trying to help you guys better manage your finances, telling you what I've done to retire early, and helping you get fit and get those cuts for the you know what. For eight years, they've been keeping record of this stuff, which should be alarming to you all because if they can keep record of what people are streaming, quote unquote, pirated, they probably can keep tabs on you too. So, for eight years, Game of Thrones was your most pirated show. And y'all know that is an HBO special. And there are a couple of shows that made this list. And we're gonna start from the top. The num number 10, Suits comes on the USA Network. I don't watch it. Y'all never seen me do a streaming or beaming on because I don't watch it, but a lot of people say it's good. That was the number 10 most pirated show. Let me know what you guys watch on this list too. Um, number nine, Legends of Tomorrow, CW Network. Probably the most, the number one most pirated network is CW. They've got a lot of entries up here. I watched Legends of Tomorrow one time and I, it didn't do it for me, so I let it go. Number eight is Westworld. And I believe Westworld is HBO. Um, I've heard good things about that, but I haven't gotten into it. Somebody please let me know why I'm not able to get into Westworld, what makes it good. Number seven, Supernatural, another CW favorite. Um, I've not seen that one either. <laughs> I guess I'm not doing you guys a good service in reviewing TV shows because I haven't seen that one, haven't had an interest. Number six on the list, Arrow from the CW. Another CW show. I did watch that for two seasons and I thought it was good the first two seasons. Then after that, I kind of let it go. Kind of got redundant and repetitive for me. The next one that just came out this year that you guys need to download their app and start watching. Chase, what's up? What are you doing here? It's Batman. He's in trouble. Gotham's gotten worse. Commissioner Gordon's dead. It's Titans, and it's brought to you by the DC app. Man, for the blunders DC has had with movies, they have done great on TV. And their animated cartoons are probably better than Marvel too. Titans follows a great line of shows that you can watch. And it's not for your children, ladies and gentlemen. I know y'all probably seen the cartoon Teen Titans. This is far from that. This is a gritty, dark, adult show with adult themes, including a little filthy McNasty, special powers, gritty killing. If you don't have the DC app, check out the DC app and watch Titans. Number four is Vikings. I've heard good things and I'm planning to watch that. And when I do, I will drop you guys a review on Vikings because I've heard good things. Number three, The Big Bang Theory. Watched a few episodes of my life. It's okay. I mean, I ain't got nothing bad to say about The Big Bang Theory. It's decent, it's okay watching. Now we're to the top two shows. Number two, CW again. Boy, the, the pirate folks love CW. The Flash. I watched the first season of that. Second season, I thought it was good. And I just started watching other things, so I haven't gone back to it. But I would definitely say that one is something you should watch. And can you guys guess the number one most pirated show in the absence of Game of Thrones? You think you got all this on lock? We need to start talking about making some rules. If you said Walking Dead, by golly, you have one Blackjack and you are right. 
Walking Dead this year was the number one most pirated show and it's brought to you by AMC. We know AMC and HBO have been doing a whole lot of chasing people trying to get folks from watching them pirated content. But I know a lot of cord cutters have the same issue. If these providers of entertainment was treating you fairly, giving you a fair price and stop trying to figure out how they can go up on your ass each and every year as if your pay is going up each and every year, you probably wouldn't mind the fees that they give you. But customer service has been terrible. Um, service has been lackluster. And now that people are cutting the cord, they're starting to try to raise your internet bill. So those are probably reasons why some folks need to sit at these tables at these boards and let these entertainment companies know why people are going in this route. But for those that want to know, those were your 2018 most pirated shows. Let me know in the comment section, what shows do you watch? Uh, what streaming devices are you using? And if you're brave enough, let me know, did you watch it above ground or underground? That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Go check out the Life Game Fitness and Finance channels. If you need any one-on-one -on -one with me, I am doing consulting for anything you see on any of my channels from helping you build YouTube, getting right in fitness, getting right in finance, or any cord cutting um, help that you might need. The link to get one-on-one -on -one time with me is in the video description. And until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you.